Good evening, YouTube. Derek here, Hardball Crazy, coming at you, coming back at you with a one mail day today. Uh, it's one card I got from uh, eBay um, for my uh, Playing Days Negro League collection. Player sort of um, a forgotten pioneer. Um, nobody knows too much about him, but uh, he was a bit of a pioneer in uh, MLB history. It's 55 Bowman, rookie card of Gene Baker, the Chicago Cubs. I think it's pretty good shape. I think it's kind of unfortunate to get his rookie card. He's got a big old band aid over his head. Imagine getting your first major league card, and that's the picture you get. There you go. Gene Baker, 55 Bowman, classic set from the 50s. Uh, Gene Baker was a uh, uh, amateur player, shortstop uh, from Iowa. He was a very good player. Signed with the Kansas City Monarchs. Um, Played very well. The, Cub, the Cubs um, was impressed with him. Signed with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, the thing he signed with the Chicago Cubs before Ernie Banks did. So he's actually the first black player in Cubs history. Even though about a week later after he signed, Banks signed. And Banks made into a major league game prior to Baker. So Banks was the first Cub to play. Black Cub to play. But Baker was actually the first one on the roster. I also know Baker and Banks as amateurs when with then with from the Negro Leagues are both shortstops. So um, the Cubs thought that Baker, who was a little older, he could be more accustomed to uh, do a position switch, more be able to acclimate himself to, uh, to the new position. So he moved to second base while Banks became the shortstop. While those two, uh, with Banks at uh, Short Baker at second base, they became the first ever uh, all black double play duo in Major League history. He did make an all star game with Chicago Cubs, um, but later traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, obviously, Mill Bazarowski was stationed at uh, second base, so he moved to third base. And um, during, uh, during a game, he uh, unfortunately hurt his knee pretty badly. Became a part-time player. He was a member of the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates 1960 World Series team. Um, and his career soon ended soon after that. But the Pirates kept him on uh, in their capacity. He became a, a minor league coach and a minor league manager in the Pirates systems. While down in the minor leagues, he broke uh, other barriers down there in the prospective leagues. Um, eventually, he made it back to the majors as a, a coach with the Pirates. Became the second um, full second full time coach in Major League history behind Buck O'Neill, ironically of Chicago Cubs. So uh, those two were the first two ever black coaches in MLB history. But a little bit of a um, trivia question that uh, you might be able to beat your little wager on. One, he, it happened one day in 1963, uh, as a, still as a coach in the, with the Pirates, during a game against the Dodgers, Pirates manager and another uh, coach uh, both got tossed arguing with the umpire. So Mr. Gene Baker ended up finishing the game as the manager in the middle of the game. So therefore, he became... The first black uh, person ever to manage MLB game. Obviously, wasn't a full timer, but he's actually the first black manager, black to ever manage in an MLB game. Even though Frank Robinson was the first full time manager. So there's a little bit of a wage you could probably bet somebody on. Uh, Gene Baker uh, didn't stay much longer in the coaching. He made a PM a scout. He scouted for years and years and years, and passed away. Uh, while back but uh there you go that's a little history of gene baker sort of a forgotten pioneer uh chicago cubs pittsburgh pirates world series champion uh player coach and one fateful day a manager there you have it thank you for watching have a good evening